10 Psychological Tips That'll Help You Get Your Life Together A lot of people decide to see a therapist when they feel like their life is spinning out of control. Well, why not save your cash and solve your problems on your own with the help of these 10 psychological tips for a better life? Your peace of mind and your wallet will thank you. Number 10. The majority of your problems stem from childhood. A lot of our worries, fears, and perceived shortcomings actually trace back to our childhood. Although we mostly don't remember our earliest years, certain things from that phase of our lives remain in the back of our minds, especially what we felt at that time. You see, when we're kids, we don't have any life experience or rationality, so we explore the world around us through feelings. And everything starts with our parents. Try to go back and ask yourself simple questions like, how did my parents treat me and each other? What were their motives? If you can figure out why your parents did this or that, you'll be able to forgive them and take a huge step towards accepting yourself just as you are. This can be really helpful if you have relationship problems since our parents are the model we subconsciously set for ourselves as a relationship norm. Just be honest with yourself and you'll work through it. Number nine, other problems are in your head. If you had an amazing, perfect upbringing, that's great. But it also means that your problems come from somewhere else. And believe it or not, they mostly come from your mind. Just think about this, all that inner dialogue you have with yourself, questioning your decisions, wondering what could have been if you've done something differently, trying to understand why someone acted a certain way with you. What does all this change in your life? That's right, nothing. These thoughts are absolutely useless. When it comes to other people, sadly, we can't explain their behavior no matter how much we'd like to. They simply grew up in a different atmosphere and had their own experiences that differ from ours. When you try to understand the motives behind someone else's actions, you face problems that you create yourself. And when it comes to beating yourself up for past mistakes, don't forget that you made that decision because you felt that it was right for you at that time in your life. The past is the past. Leave it there and learn from it. Number eight, speak more openly about your feelings and don't judge others. When we're not beating ourselves up, we're blaming others for our problems. Of course, the people around us sometimes make mistakes that do affect us personally, but it's our job to deal with these roadblocks. If you've been hurt by someone, tell them how you feel, but choose your words wisely. Instead of saying, you betrayed me, a much better way to open a dialogue is to say, I feel betrayed. The first sentence is accusatory and will only cause the other person to go into self-defense mode and start arguing with you. The second phrase hits closer to home and evokes from the other person a sense of empathy and probably sincere regret for hurting you. You're not only honestly expressing your innermost worries, you're also giving them a chance to do the same. And even if the situation can't be remedied, that's okay, it's in the past. You'll both still feel better after openly expressing your feelings. Number seven, care more about yourself and less about other people's opinions. Comparing yourself to others will get you nowhere. In your mind, you'll never win. And the same goes for everybody else because we're all constantly comparing ourselves to others. Like we said before, Everyone has their own experience and background. They also have their own finances, appearance, personal qualities, and achievements. Who they are and what they have is different from you, and that's okay. That's what makes us all unique. If you're inspired by someone, that's great. Just try to have desires and goals that are your own and not somebody else's. When we try to live another person's life, we destroy our own. So learn more about yourself and create your own story. It's always better to be an original than a bad copy. Number six, get out of your comfort zone. It might sound kind of cliche, but it's still a good tip. You can change your life and open new doors for new opportunities if you just step out of your comfort zone and start doing things you'd never imagine yourself doing. 
And this applies to all spheres of life. If you want to find love, put yourself out there and meet new people. Sick of your job? Submit applications and go to job interviews in your free time. No one's going to come and poof your life into a fairy tale with the wave of a magical wand. If you want real change in your life, make it happen. Number five, set boundaries and don't let anybody trespass them. Psychologists say they see a lot of clients struggling to fix their relationship with their friends and family. Whether it be a mother-in-law that's always on their back, a demanding boss, or disobedient kids. And the answer here is simple. Set firm boundaries and don't give in. You don't have to be nice and accommodating for everybody and give up your own desires and expectations. It's perfectly okay to say no. It doesn't make you a bad person. On the contrary, it makes you the type of person that respect themselves and values their time. Plus, if you keep putting up with someone's bad attitude, nothing will change. But if you stand your ground, others will at least start to respect you. Number four, try to make every day better than the one before it. Time is one of our most valuable resources, but unfortunately, it flies faster than you'd think. When you keep putting something off till tomorrow, this story can go on for weeks, months, or even years. Don't wait for the right moment. Take steps to make your life better every single day. You see, it takes 20 days for a habit to form and set firmly in your brain. Psychologists know this and recommend us to always move forward. Try making a list of everything you did during the day and decide how much of it was unnecessary and unproductive. Set a couple of small goals for each day and you'll see progress. Number three, appreciate the experience you gain after every situation. In a perfect world, everything would go according to plan. But bad experiences are inevitable. Just try to see it this way. Each stressful situation pulls you out of your comfort zone. And with it, you've gained new experience that will help you learn your lesson so that you never repeat the same mistake again. And that's not that bad of an outcome, right? If you make an effort to look on the bright side instead of drowning in the bad stuff, you'll be able to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and simply move on. Number two, let it go. You know the feeling when you desperately want something to happen, but it just doesn't? It's tough to accept, but you've just got to let it go. When we try to change something, we actually tend to overdo it or overreact to it. Do everything that's in your power, and then let the situation work itself out. It's pointless to stress over something you can't change and have no control over. Maybe it's one of those things that just takes time. If you truly want it, eventually you'll get there. Number one, be a friend to yourself, not a torturer. The most important thing every single one of us should know how to do is to be our own friend. You should be ready to admit defeat and accept that you can't influence everything. Don't fall into the mental trap of thinking things over and over and lamenting all the time you wasted working on something just to have it flop. This sort of downward spiral of self-loathing and regret is literally self-torture. You're the person you spend your whole life with. No matter how much everyone else praises you, if you don't like yourself, you'll still be miserable. Respect yourself, treat yourself right, and expand your horizons. If you do that, you'll be unstoppable. What's the best advice you've ever been given? Tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Maybe these little tips will help them out too. Stay on the bright side of life and we'll see you soon.